Hey guys, it's Vape Baby. I'm sick today and we're going to talk about some flavors. Um, so when we last left off, uh, we had the Bright Vapes um, Key Lime Cookie and the Shamrock. We were working on a bottle of the Crunchy Squares Keep It 100. Now, I have also had the Kilo Honey Cream and the Marshmallow Crisp. And um, first and foremost, you know, I like... Like I mentioned with those slippers, I didn't get to try them beforehand. Um, Marshmallow Crisp was dog shit. I gave it to my sister and like, here, you can have this. And uh, <clears throat> what I can say about that one is it, it just um, was like uh, dumping a packet of Splenda into your mouth. It, it was really high on that level of, oh, this, this tastes like artificial medicine juice. Um, crunchy Squares. Uh, this guy in the really attractive, totally not stupid looking bottle uh, from Keep It 100 Vapes or whatever. Vape Keep It 100. Follow us now on Instagram. No, thank you. Um, that's great. It's a great flavor. Um, this is actually my second bottle. I just picked it up today. Um, the first bottle I ended up giving about... Um, up from here down to my uh, friend because it's such a good flavor um, it's obviously trying to replicate the breakfast cereal French toast crunch and I think it does a good job of that um, it does taste like the breakfast style breakfast cereal where you're like, getting that hint of maple syrup and uh, that good baked good flavor in there um, Again, no no real strong artificial flavor tangs. Flavor tangs. <laughs> None of that in there. Uh, this is like at the top of my list now. Um, the uh, Kilo. Now, this is how you should do labels. This is a nice label. It's so shiny. I like that. Um, the honey cream. Um, it smells like honey. This is like empty now, too. Um, <laughs> it smells like honey, but it doesn't really taste like honey to me. That, and that might be, um, it's just not an easy flavor to replicate, but, <coughs> mm, yummy. Uh, um, it, it's kind of very lightly sweet and fruity, not like a citrus fruit, but you know, that like, um, the sweetness you would have from an apple away from the apple flavor, just very lightly sweet. And there is some, um, you know, nuttiness to it. Nuttiness. Um, it, it's very, it's a very subtle flavor and um, very smooth to the throat. It, it's not, um, there, there definitely no artificial um, packet of Splenda down the throat feel there, but definitely not honey either. And I was kind of hoping to taste some honey there. If it is, it's so subtle that it doesn't really matter. Um, but that being said, if you remember what I said about the um, <clears throat> shamrock flavor from uh, the Wisconsin Dairy Company, which is um, actually manufactured by Lifted Liquids, um, kind of a nothing inoffensive flavor. This is also the inoffensive thing where, where you can you know pop it in your tank and it's just uh, you're not gonna get. So Sick of it right away because it's so strong or has a weird aftertaste and um it's kind of a um like if you're running low on a flavor if you're out but your tank's getting low you can throw it in there and it's um just kind of a nice little uh mixer can't really do a lot of mixing with mint but this you can mix it into things if you ran out and you don't want your tank to run out and it's fine um now on to um, my second bottle of the Ripe Babes Key Lime Cookie. What I think happened there was, now that I've had, you know, the, the, the um, sample I picked up and added a Nick Pack to, so on and so forth. Um, that is a strong flavor, so I think what was happening was, since that was the only thing I was sucking on, um, I just started to get all all that strength and it just started to eventually kind of feel like chemicals in my mouth 
Um, the new bottle I've been kind of taking it easy with. It is a good flavor. It's just when you're um, vaping it so much, uh, you get used to the good stuff and the bad stuff starts to really shine through. Again, that like packet of Splenda down the mouth. Um, like I said, uh, for me, a, a big thing I have is uh, everything will eventually, or every not eventually, but everything um, that I try, there's a big chance it's going to taste like cough syrup to me. And that's what started happening with this one, but it wasn't instant. It was only after I got really used to it that um, I started being able to pick up on the the cough syrup factor for the Right Vapes Key Lime Cookie. And it's still fine. It's just not something I'm going to um, vape a lot in succession if I uh, have the choice. Um, also, nice bottle design, though. Uh, you keep that out, and you're not going to be like, yeah, I, I, it's my vape flavor. Sorry about the brand. I look like a dingus wiener person. This one stays in the purse. <laughs> Um, so that's where we are at flavors now. Um, Crunchy Square is number one, Honey Cream number two, this is my number three, Shamrock is a nothing flavor, and Marshmallow Crisp is absolute dog shit. It was so gross. I, uh, felt bad about wasting money on it, but I guess my sister uses it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I haven't seen, um, any new flavors that I, I um, am curious about yet, but I'm always on the lookout, so um, I have nothing in the works now, but you're probably going to hear about something in a couple weeks as far as flavors go. Um, you know, it, <laughs> at least with, um, you know, smoking, you can get, like, what, a menthol or flavored cigars, and flavored cigars are always too strong. <laughs> <coughs> uh, um, because... Uh, I, I believe, like, in the Obama administration, they made actual flavored cigarettes illegal. And I was a big flavored cigarette buyer. And that's what I really like about this is you just always have the option of something new. I just haven't seen anything um, new that I, I'm into yet. You keep your eye out when you go to the shop. You're like, yeah, I'll try that. Um, so when I do, you'll hear about it. Uh, you all have a good one. And that was today's little flavor update. Peace.